Rohingya Muslims have lived in Yakai State since 11th century. But since 1982, the government do not want to accept Rohingya people as an ethnic group. They don't issue citizenship to us. They say that we are illegal immigrants from Bangladesh. They try to call us Bengali, but we are not from Bangladesh. We doesn't want to give this land to Bangladesh. We want to live under this Burmese government under law and order. Rohingya people is one of the most persecuted minorities in the world. The Rakhine extremists attack us, but the authorities do not take any action. Our people are rejected to apply for the job, for education and for health care. We cannot travel anywhere without permission. Now we cannot vote. So what is the law? Where is the law? Discrimination, as we are Muslim. So I started to fight for the rights of my people. I am the only Rohingya lawyer in this area who can complain to the authorities and who can inform other countries. So the authorities are not fully really satisfied with me. In total, I spent more than 10 years in prison. I am a lawyer, but now the law and order is not for us. Yeah, you can see there very bad condition. Uh, for this uh, three years, uh, no job, no nothing uh, to eat. We formed a committee to purchase rice and distribute it to the very poor. I also started to provide education to our children and elderly people. We also appointed nearly 110 teachers and more than 10,000 children are also uh, getting uh, the education. A new crisis broke out in August 2017 in Northern Rakhine State. Thousands of Rohingya people lost their lives. Many drowned fleeing. It was the biggest exodus of Rohingya people from Myanmar. More than half of the population now live in refugee camps. The situation is still very tense. In Somnia, our relations are also there. But we cannot go and see a support to them, provide anything to them. Bit by bit, they are doing such things for genocide. I don't want to leave my land. I am encouraging my people to stay here. I have faith that one day we will achieve our rights.